acting class, joining a bicycle club. That's what humans do. Barbecuing with your neighbors. Remember what Steve Jobs said a couple years before he died? They said, so, your iPads come out. What do your young kids you know, like to play on? He said, I don't even let them ha ever have it. They can't touch one. They're not allowed to watch television. It's in very controlled situations. It will destroy you. Don't you understand? They have to metaphysically tell you and warn you before they do it to you. Now, coming up, stock market plunge today, as we predicted. Not hard to point out that they can't prop it up forever. The Chinese have signaled they're not going to prop theirs up anymore. And that's why we could be getting ready to go on the way down. We've got huge ISIS news. We've got huge Ebola news. Huge election news. Gun news. Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to get into the Czech president calls for army to defend border against mass migrant waves. I was going to get into the month of September 2015, uh, the month we officially enter the danger zone and the plunging stock market today. I was going to cover that first, and then I was going to break down the latest on the Black Lives Matter groups calling for the killing of police with the new Black Panther Party yesterday in Texas, uh, just north of where the police officer was shot at a courthouse saying, we're going to creep up on you in the dark. Well, now, report, Fox Lake cop shot and killed police manhunt for two armed suspects. And it appears to be another random shooting Holding our breath, uh, will this end up being racially motivated? Illinois police officer shot, prompting manhunt. Lake County police officials say a Fox Lake police officer has been shot and a manhunt is underway in the village for two armed male suspects. Though the officer's condition hasn't been officially released, NBC5 Chicago is reporting the law enforcement official has confirmed the officer's death. Let's hope that's not true. There is a yellow crime scene tape around dipstick oil change on Route 12. That's the new way to execute cops. You just wait till they gas their vehicles. About 30 police vehicles, including some of military grade, are on the scene at Frontage and Sighton Roads. Other police vehicles are traveling rapidly around Fox Lake with officers stationed on most street corners. And again, when you have MTV, MSNBC, CNN saying cops are racist and want to kill black people and showing some of these sad cases, some of which are questionable, some of which aren't, and making it the number one issue in America for over a year, and the Justice Department stirring up the Trayvon Martin situation and just in there to divert attention from black unemployment doubling under Obama, it is meant cold-bloodedly to get black people and white people at each other's throats. And it's not been working with the general public, with, with just Americans of all colors, but it is working with mentally ill people. And they're now saying two years ago, three years ago, the shooter in Houston of uh, Darren Goforth, the dead officer, he shot 15 times in the back, five of them in the head, basically dead instantly. He'd been declared mentally ill and had been in a mental institution. So there you go. I mean, I could take one look at him and tell you he's completely out of his mind. And so is the shooter up there in Charleston. These are mentally ill people. And when the media hypes up that cops are the ultimate bad and cops are the reason for all the problems in the world, you're not going to have suicide by a cop anymore. You're not going to have folks copycatting, jumping off bridges like they used to in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. The new thing is going to be go out and shoot a cop gassing up their car, getting an oil change. Highly suggestible. And I guarantee you, if this guy was in a mental institution and they released him, I guarantee you, and they'll hide this forever, but it'll come out. Maybe a six months a year. Maybe this week. I don't know. I'll guarantee you the shooter in Harris County in South Texas 
was on psychotropic drugs or had just gone off of them. Because going off of them will whack you out, too, if you go off of them quickly. And notice that we're not hearing about what his psychiatric medications were. But he was in a mental institution in Texas for violent people for one year. ABC News, AP, latest on Texas deputy, lawyer says man had mental illness, had been in a mental institution. They don't let you out of those things unless you agree to be drugged. And then you got to go in. He was under psychiatric evaluation. He had to go in once a month to get checked. I bet all the tea in China that he was on drugs, which on the insert say they make you do it. And then you get highly suggestible people seeing footage of bad cops doing bad things. They then project that onto the group and the shooting start. You want to place your bets on whether this is another Black Lives Matter, New Black Panther Party promoted slime fest in Illinois? Well, the media will do its best to cover it up. We'll only learn if the police come out and tell us. We'll be back. Stay with us. Sandra Bland, remember about a month and a half ago? She's in southeast Texas. Gets pulled over by a super nice state police deputy. I mean, I run into some real jerks from the DPS. Some of them are real nice, but I run into some real jerks before. And this guy was super nice. She starts flipping out, throwing fits. He goes to handcuff her. She freaks out. And then it turns out she'd been putting out videos, making statements that she was going to commit suicide. She looked completely depressed, looked, in my opinion, mentally ill. She looked whacked out of her mind. It's like you look at Charlie Manson. And he looked crazy in a killer way. She didn't look like a killer. She just looked completely depressed, completely freaked out. And that's what she said. So she had a new life. She thought leaving Illinois, coming back to Texas. Cop pulls her over. He's going to give her a warning. And when he says, okay, I'm going to let you go with a warning, she blows up at him. And he's like, excuse me. I mean, the 14-minute tapes on Infowars.com. He's like, look, you got your warning, I'm out of here. And she just bows up, gets all upset because she wanted to be a martyr, wanted to be a victim. Now, are there cases where crazy cops shoot innocent people in the back? Absolutely. And the cops that you've seen doing that are getting indicted. And out of all of this attention of the police... They're going to use this to fully come in and take over the departments and turn them into politically correct globalists. That's what all this pressure on the police is about. And now they've named a parkway, a major road. Texas City names road after Sandra Bland. It's like they want to have a statue downtown to Leslie, the transvestite. And I'm not against, quote, transvestites and people. I really... It's not on my radar screen, but if you knew Leslie, he was one of the most disgusting, horrible creatures. He made Gollum look like an angel. And if anybody from the Leslie camp ever attacks me, I'll unload. Because my office for five years was next door to his house. He was not homeless. And we moved in part to get away from it. And if we have new listeners they're like, or people from not from Austin, they're like, who is Leslie Cochran? Well, just be glad you didn't know. Because he was, I don't want to even get into it. I don't even want to get into it. I don't even know why I'm digressing off into this, but they want to make a big statue downtown to him. And... It's the same thing with Sandra Bland. I don't think she was a disgusting person like him. Fine. People want me to tell you what was going on? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to speak ill of the dead. He was a very sad person. We pray for his soul. There. In fact, I do apologize. I do. He's actually a very sad person. But you don't celebrate it as if it's God and say it's the most beautiful thing on earth when it was one of the most saddening creatures I've ever seen. I bet it's safe to say few people know Leslie Cochran as good as I did and my staff did that were there for five years. Rob Jacobson had to deal with him every day.
ought to call him in here. He can tell you some stories. But I digress. The celebration of this lady when the M.O. fits that she went in there and hung herself in the jail cell. Now, she may not have. I'd give it a 10% chance. But now you've got the new Black Panther Party a few weeks ago chanting off the pigs, off the pigs, pigs in a blanket, fry the pigs, give the pigs wings. We're going to play some of that. There's the new video out at Breitbart today. Armed Black Panthers to Texas cops yesterday. We will start creeping up on you in the darkness. You think we're not pissed about Sandra Bland? That's a quote. And I'm all for people to have the right to arm march. That's great. The difference is when the black, new Black Panther Party marches, they have their M16s in their hands, basically pointing them around at people. And that is, is a dangerous display of a firearm. That is a rude display. That is brandishing a firearm with an intent to menace. And believe me, if a Tea Party group acted like this, we'd be attacked. We'd be arrested. We'd be shot. If a motorcycle gang acted halfway like this, it'd be attacked. Why is the new Black Panther Party allowed to go around as an organized armed group promoting the killing of peace officers? Because they're White House and Foundation controlled. That's come out and they got a larger mission. I'm going to break down in a moment. But here is the clip in Texas. There's so many of these clips. This is a short one because of the profanities. Saying basically off the cops, which means kill the cops. Here it is. Now, let me explain what's happening. I know everybody basically gets what's happening. Some of you probably know more than I do, but this is socio manipulation. This is social engineering by the biggest, richest people in the world to destroy this country. Can you imagine the average poor, hardworking, good Christian black person that's the salt of the earth, that's had drugs shipped into their communities, that's had their children prepared and prepped for prison, that's had Sumner Redstone and MTV put out and promote gangster rap from nowhere to poison black and then the rest of the culture of the world? Can you imagine after everything now having a White House run Black Lives Matter organizations and the new Black Panther Party running around saying pigs in a blanket, kill the pigs, fry the pigs, on and on and on from Houston, Texas to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota to New York City. I mean, I'll be honest, I couldn't have gone with Jakari and Joe Biggs up to Ferguson when most of the people were demonstrating against legitimate problems with the police. There were some issues. They even shot our people with rubber bullets for no reason and everything else. But then groups of thugs would just show up and start fights with Jakari mainly and Biggs getting in their face. And, of course, Jakari and Biggs didn't back down. And Jakari's a pretty big guy, and you know Biggs isn't a wimp. And they were just basically ready to throw down. And then the thugs back down. But you've got a bunch of criminals, basically, that are using this as a political smokescreen to do whatever they want. And when it all ends, it's going to discredit any legitimate urban movement for a renewal, urban movement for unity, urban movement, whether it's black or whatever it is, to fix police departments. It's going to legitimize Bad cops getting away with doing really bad things. And I, I, I mean, I told you this eight, nine months ago, and I got calls from a couple different affiliates. I'm not going to name them. Saying, listen, you can say whatever you want. You can attack Obama. You can attack Boehner. You can talk about the CIA drug dealing. You can say whatever you want. Basically, the phone calls were the same. But we have the Chamber of Commerce and stuff breathing down our neck. The fact that you're mentioning this town and that town has criminals coming up to people, getting in their face. We don't want that news out. 